Before I started volunteering with the MCC and um, Communities First, I was a student studying 3D computer animation. Now, that course wasn't for me, so in the summer of 2014, I was unemployed, I was bored looking for something to do. So in my spare time, I went to CVS and I asked them what volunteering opportunities there were out there. Now, CVS gave me a list of opportunities and it was only really one thing that was of interest to me. And that was, um, they had like a computer session in East Library and the YMCA. And I've always been good at computers and I've always enjoyed using them. So I contacted Stuart from CVS to have an induction and basically a, a, an informal meeting. I started off in the YMCA in Neath and then I worked my way to literally within the first two weeks I was volunteering five days a week and um, I then went to Neath Library to volunteer. And what, what made me want to do it the most was the reactions that I was getting from the members of the, the community. I mean, it was surprising, like some of these people had never used a computer before. And it was just that moment when they connect with the computer and they realize the benefit of technology. It's just like, it was this one gentleman, he had never like contacted his family from abroad. And we set up a Skype account. That was literally within the first month of um, volunteering. And just to see the reaction from his face, his face lit up, his family was like talking to him the other side of the world. and he hasn't talked to his friends and family for you would say in years so it's really like a leap for the older people and we the, the best thing is it's not just older people we have younger people there's so many people out there in the Nice Talbot area that has never even like taken the next step with technology they might use an iPad but they, they might not know how to word process they might know how to word process but maybe they want to sort of target a particular skill set maybe they want to learn web design and what I like about the most about the volunteers if they don't know how to do something they'll find a way how to do something and that is it we're constantly challenging ourselves it was this one gentleman he asked me uh, to build a, he wanted to build a website now I am doing a graphic design course in uni currently and I told him I can build websites but I'm not too sure on the coding aspect and he was keen on learning the, the behind the scenes of the website, which involved the coding. So I sat with him and I said, okay, if we are, are gonna do this, then we learn together. So we sat together, we looked at the code inside of it, and we just like basically were teaching each other then. And uh, it's so good because we both benefited from the project in that sense. Uh, but I volunteered in Ponte Dawi, um, Port Albert Library, and when I was volunteering then for a couple of months, um, I contacted, well, the MCC contacted me and they had this um, digital inclusion project with, in partnership with Communities 2.0. The administrator, Louise, she's not with us now, she contacted me saying that there are job roles going and uh, would I be interested in becoming a paid digital inclusion tutor? Now, at the time, I never had, like, as I said previously, I never... I've never been employed and um, I was in my first year of university. I didn't know what I wanted to do with that degree. I, I dropped out of that degree because it, it wasn't for me. So Louise said to me then, this job will be part time and it'll be flexible so it'll fit in with my uni hours. Would I be interested? And to me, it was like a dream come true. I, I loved teaching computers and I loved to develop on my computer skills. So it was a winner winner. So uh, we set up everything, all the paperwork and all the details and in November, I think it was November, I started um, tutoring and uh, I did that up until March, so around about five, six months and unfortunately the funding has stopped now. But uh, from that experience I gained so much contacts and met so much new and interesting people and, and at the same time we've helped together as a community so many people I mean I think it was up to 4,000 I believe wasn't it like 4,000 people like within the space of like a year I believe it was um it's just so many people like came through the doors of Nice Portal but libraries and YMCA centers it was crazy um a really good journey